That sounds good. <laughs> hey guys, what's going on? It's Chris from The Grid Hi-Fi. We got this brand new product to let you guys know about. We're super excited to bring on Audio Research. We're gonna get this sucker out of the box, let you know all the ins and outs about it. We're gonna do it right after the intro. All right, so now I'm bringing in Alan from Audio Research. We're gonna do the unboxing of this one. So he's mic'd up. He's just gonna be talking about the ins and outs of this product while I do the work. All right, so the Reference ADS is the smallest amplifier in the reference range. Uh, it retails for $10,000, 80 watts per channel. It features our uh, ghost meter technology, which you will see as soon as it comes out of the box. It's both accurate and very, very beautiful. And we're gonna take out first all right, so first and foremost, this is probably the beefiest power cord that I've ever seen come directly from a company. So that is super cool. Um, do you guys have any affiliation with any cabling companies or do you guys no, like- No, we do not. Okay. stock. If you want, if you, if you wish to upgrade the power cable, it will make a difference, but the stock cords do a really, really good job. All right, so in the box, we have this, this bit of the, goodies. So this yeah. is the tube kit reference series amps. This is the tube kit. I'll open it up here so you can see. We use KT-150s oh, as power yeah. tubes. These are exemplary. And you'll see that each tube is hand marked. So V2 denotes the position of the tube within the amplifier. There are four of them. They all go in a specific spot. And you'll see this number 364163. This is the batch number. So all the tubes that come into audio research are tested again. They are all, they've all, uh, um, been approved by the manufacturer for industry standard uh, level performance, but there are additional characteristics that we that we test for at Audio Research. So that's good because yeah. if one tube ever goes out inadvertently, you yes. know, you don't have to swap out your entire set. It gets no. very expensive doing it like that, right? Well, right. It, it, for instance, in a reference 750, which is the biggest amplifier we make for a pair of those tubes, models, right? 16 tubes, right? <laughs> 32 tubes. We have to go through 300 tubes. Mm -hmm a field of 300 tubes to get the 32 that you want. Mm -hmm. So when you have a problem with a tube, you call me up and I'm gonna ask you for the number off that. I'm gonna go right to that batch and pull a tube from that and send it mm -hmm. so that they are all perfectly matched. Cool, Let's so you don't have to worry about your amp sounding different over no. time whenever you switch out tubes, stuff like that. Absolutely. Also included in the box, you also have this nice premium fit and finish. This is their owner's manual, but you also have your quality checklist in here as well. Whoop, dropped it on the ground. And you have a really cool audio research sticker. So you can put it on your laptop, your bumper sticker, whatever you'd like to do. This is also the Torx for the uh, screws to hold the tube cage on if you want to use it. Jordan, get over here and check this thing out, man. This is a massive unit. That's a lot of beef for an 80 watt amplifier. Yeah. How heavy is it? Uh, we're about to find out. <laughs> <laughs> Call your chiropractor. Get hey, I'm, I'm, I'm a chiropractor. You are? Yep. Okay. Oh, here we go. Down we go. Let's take this out. Got the electrostatic packaging on it. Correct. I'm going to turn this up on its handles. You can do it. It's okay. Man, this is a massive amplifier. So on the back, you'll see the tube uh, meter. This indicates how much tube life has been utilized. There's single-ended and uh, balanced inputs, which you can switch. Are we okay to twist it on the yes, handles, yes, or is that going to scratch it? You can. That's perfectly okay. <clears throat> So it looks like we have balanced, unbalanced inputs. We, we have selections for 16, eight, four ohms, and then you have your common. Triggers, mains fuse, 20 amp cable going in, okay? Then you have a four, eight, and 16 ohm. This is a balanced amplifier. The ground, incidentally, this is the negative terminal, but the ground on this amplifier is actually the four ohm hot. It's not the zero. It's a little unusual, but it is a balanced differential circuit. We got some switches over here. So this allows you to just simply activate either the balanced or the uh, uh, single-ended input. We can defeat the auto shutoff so that it does not, if you don't want the amplifier to turn itself off after a lot of inactivity, you can just 
move that out of the way. And the cooling fan in here, you can select high speed or low speed, or we're, in this case, we're just going to remove the cage entirely mm -hmm. and just let it operate. And that's bit. down here, right? Yeah. Is there any isolation built into these feet? Uh, no, they're basic. If you have aftermarket products that you wish to use, uh, that will improve the performance, but these are fairly basic. Okay. Let's check this Just thing out. Just prevent basic vibration from getting back into the unit. Ooh, we get to check okay. it out before you guys do. All right, let's spin around. this around. <clears throat> Here we go. Now here comes the fun part. We're going to lift lift the veil on the ghost meter. Ooh, mama. Beautiful. So this is your ghost meter, right? So the tubes are going to go where this cage is, under this cage, in there. So it's in essence, it's going to be backlit. Yes. You have these readouts right up front, which is cool because with this glass, the way it's etched, it actually, the, if, if you guys can check this out, these get lit up as a, a, as a process. And these view meters actually will, these needles will be moving in there. So you'll be watching the background of your, your tubes glowing. Plus you have this going to be lit right in the front. That's what's called the ghost meter because obviously <laughs> You know, you have the, the 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 tubes glowing in the background. So Alan has the screwdriver. He's going to start taking this cage off. Um, this is probably super boring, so we're just going to pop back in here in just a second once this thing gets uh, gets ready to put the tubes in. Well, I also wanted to mention, um, we actually have a clean room facility at ARC. We make the ghost meters on site. Okay. Man, this is awesome. Check out the check out the stuff up close. Super sturdy construction, like, you know, er everything just fits together very well, close tolerances. You can tell that it's a premium unit. Everything is, you know, usually in, in electronics, the, the weight is indicative of quality, and this one definitely feels the part for sure. All right. All right. You so help with me these, here? do we need gloves to put these tubes in? You do not. You may handle them. You may still want to wipe them down afterwards. And, of course, uh, when I come through to dust, you use just a long bristle soft paint brush or, or, or a microfiber towel or something just to take dust off the unit. Mm -hmm periodically, but you can go ahead and pick those on up. Okay, so I got V1. Go grab V1 and right there it goes. All right, checking the, the, the detent on the bottom. Looks like there's a correct uh, line right, right there, there. And then it should go facing exactly. east. Put that directly in there, we're good to go. Correct. And we'll go to V4. Turn the detent back to the west. And in it goes. Cool. What do you have there, V2? Yeah, this is V2. This one's in board. Okay. V3. That's not a. That's not super, super tough to get these tubes in. No, and we've got driver tubes. Looks like you have some fuses to burn, just in case. Yes, it is a fused output stage. If you blow a tube, you replace a fuse. Very, very simple to do. This is V6. Here we and then go. we got this little guy here. Six H30s. Do you leave these? rubber caps on there yes, whenever you're putting it are, in? Those are tube dampers. Okay. So you got a little space there facing north. And at that point, we are tubed and ready to go. All right. So I'm checking my work. Yep. It's about the same. Everything's set <laughs> down good. All right. What else do we have in here? We have some hardware. Oh, what are we looking at? Just extra screws to hold the cage down. Okay. Just in case you ever lose them, you have your magic fiber too. So I guess that's for the the ghost meter. That's in the to front. clean the meter off. Yes. Okay. At this point, we're ready to fire it up and get some tunes going. Okay. All right. Check back in in a minute. All right, guys. Check this thing out. So we got the audio research um, reference eighty out, out of the box. This is the very first time that we're powering up. We have that big beefy power cord <laughs> plugged into the back over there, uh, twenty amp circuit. So this is the very first time we're going, ooh, man, and even these buttons, it's like machined. You actually feel, it's like, you feel the texture on it. That's super cool. First power up, let's do this. Oh, oh man, that's so cool. Man, that is super cool. So everything's coming to life. You hear the, the relays in the back uh, hitting the contactors. So everything is getting switched on. That was probably their, their soft open mode, um, basically to let the tubes warm up. And then once we're ready, we'll put this thing to a source and then we will start playing some demos for you. Right here we have the, the Sopra number threes behind us. I love these, these towers. If you guys have ever heard of them, Brilliam are some of my favorite uh, tweeter sets. 
We have the super number ones as well. Basically, the demo is going to be with the super number threes. We have a name streamer for our source, and this is going to go ahead and take care of the heavy lifting on the amplification stage. So just give us a minute, and we will get that demo going for you shortly. Through the eyes of an angel. That sounds good. <laughs> <laughs> all right guys so we're gonna wrap this video up here we're queuing up a demo for you guys um this thing just to get to know, just, just so you guys know it takes a little while for the, the the tubes to warm up once this thing stops blinking green it'll just go solid and obviously you know you guys just heard my first reaction <laughs> in real time to how this thing sounds um so we're going to do a full-on demo right after this one. We're going to wrap this video up here. That's going to be the end of the Audio Research Reference ADS. This is their stereo amplifier. I am super excited to let you guys know more about this product. Again, we just got this thing in-house, so we're going to do more, more of these tests for you guys. But again, we're going to wrap this video up here. We're going to do another video right after this one about the name streamer. And for streamer, we have the Unity Nova. That's going to be going into this one as a source. We're going to give you guys some demos, and then we're going to talk about how awesome this thing is afterwards. Because with that quick little demo, I think that this is this this is, this is a massive, massive find for, for the grid. We're really happy to have this thing here for you guys. So if you guys want any audio research products, make sure to hit us up gridhifi.com. You guys can also reach out, pick up the phone, shoot us an email. We'd be happy to help you out. And that's it. So make sure you guys like, share, and subscribe. We'll see you next time. I need to slide out. Oh, 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 oh. I need to slide out. Oh, man. It's so good. I need to slide out. Honey, he slide out. Yeah. Stay for a minute, cause I'm gonna be in it.